All right, welcome back after the 15 minute break. Um, let's go through, I think we have several people who joined us since the previous introduction. So um, we'll go, do a short intro, just tell us who you are, uh, your name, your nickname on RRC or GitHub, and uh, what you prefer. Um, what you do with Ansible and what would you like to find out and, and, and achieve from this Contributor Summit. So alphabetically, um, Ajith, hi, are you around? Would you like to do a quick intro? Ajith. Remember to unmute yourself because um, when you join, you're automatically muted by default. Okay. Um, if he's not around, uh, maybe Alicia, are you around? Hi. Hey, yeah, I'm here. Great. Um, hi, Carol. Uh, hi. So my name is Alicia Cozine. I am a Cozine on pretty much every platform. Um, I am the lead documentation person for Ansible. Um, and I mostly come here to be a cheerleader and to thank everyone because um, pretty much everyone who contributes has contributed at one time or another to the docs. And um, I think we have quite a few people who got started by making small contributions to the docs. Those are all incredibly welcome and um, very much appreciated and especially today in this time of transition um, the more feedback we get from folks out in the field who are using the product and working especially on the uh, with with the new versions that are coming out both in collections and of ansible base um, the more information we get from folks about how it's working, how it's going, and how we can help other people use it effectively and um, easily, the better. So thanks, everybody. And that was probably more of a long introduction than you expected, but there it is. <laughs> thanks, That <was> great. <laughs> thanks, Alicia. Wonderful. Yeah, documentation is so important. And I think there's a comment, a feature not docu documented does not exist. So <laughs> let's make it happen. All right, next we have Anshu, Anshu Bell. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name badly. <laughs> uh, can you hear me? Yes, it's a bit fuzzy, but we can hear you. Yeah, it's Anshu Bell. So uh, yeah, uh, I recently joined Ansible as a partner engineer, so I mostly work with uh, Ansible partners. First time to be contributor, so uh, so looking forward to what uh, people have to contribute here, and maybe next time I can bring something to the works. All right, thank you, Ansible. Yep, you're welcome. And David. David, are you around? David Toledo? If not, uh, Ganesh? Ganesh, we were just chatting. You must be around. <laughs> yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I work uh, in the Ansible network team. Uh, my GitHub and IRC Nick is Ganesh Aran. And I'm here to just hang out with the community and uh, learn new stuff. Thanks, Ganesh. The Madonis? Um Yes, hi, I'm... Uh... My name is Emmanuel or Manuel or whatever. Uh, Madonna is on pretty much every social thingy that uh, exists. And uh, if you find Madonna, it's probably me. And I was until recently a systems administrator working with Kubernetes and 
uh, very interested in the community and also in contributing. Um, haven't found too many things that where I can contribute or where I can help, but nonetheless, I'm still interested where the community is headed as I'm supporting many projects uh, where we uh, write Ansible roles and uh, in, in my spare time. And I uh, will still continue to do that. So yeah, um, I, I wanted to know where things are going, especially with collections and how the community, uh, how the community is, uh, is going to, to go that way. And many important questions that I've already have already been answered today. So thank you for organizing everything and stuff. Great to have you here. Nice to see you again. <laughs> All right. I think next we have Rosso Vieki. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rosso Vieki. Ros Perhaps R also Vieki. Okay, if not, uh, Sandra. Sandra, are you there? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. We have two different unmute buttons, but anyway. <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> we go. Okay, so I'm Sandra McCann, Sam Can on IRC and GitHub and everything else, and I'm another one of the doc writers. Um, I focus a bit more on the networking and the Ansible uh, collection side of things, and mostly I'm just here to lurk and learn. Great to have you here, Sandra. Chaps, Andrea, are you back this time? Ah, I think he's probably having some mic problems. Okay. Yeah, here we yeah. Okay. Then, Grigorov. Hello. Yes. Hi. We can hey, hear you. How are you? Good. Um, yeah, I'm playing uh, with Dancing Bot Home and uh, just saw this meeting and decided to see what what's about. That's it. All right. I'm glad you're here. Thank I you. think. Thank you. Um, anybody else I missed going through? All right. I guess we'll get Sharps when he's back. And uh, I'll turn it over to Greg. All right. Thanks, Carol. So uh, I don't know how many of you might have been to something called a bar camp or an unconference, uh, but <clears throat> the goal from here on out is to look at all of the topics that we have proposed in various ways and try to turn them into sessions if people are actually interested in leading them. So the process that we're about to go through now is we're gonna go to the etherpad uh, and we're going to go through all of the lists of sessions, both in the unconference and also the potential topics. And we're going to find out a few things. First, we're going to find out if someone is willing to facilitate them, because if no one is willing to facilitate them, they won't happen. Then for every uh, uh, session that someone is willing to facilitate, the facilitator should talk a little bit about what, what it's about, uh, what sort of things they'd like to get out of it. Uh, and once we've gone through the entire list and have a list of potential sessions that people are willing to facilitate, we'll then go to the etherpad and put down votes on those sessions. And the more sessions get votes, the more likely it is that we'll actually discuss that. If we've got lots of sessions that have lots of votes, 
then we can actually break out into multiple tracks because we've got multiple uh, uh, blue jeans uh, calls that we can use. Uh, and then we can slot them into some kind of schedule uh, for the remainder of our time together. Uh, does that all make sense? Everyone understand what we're doing now? Then I'm going to start kicking it off. So uh, we're going to start at the top, the unconference uh, list. At the top of that list is the bullhorn, and I have put my name beside it. So if we have this session, we'll be talking about uh, the bullhorn, which is our Ansible developer newsletter. Uh, we'll talk a bit about uh, what it's for, why we're doing it, whether it's useful to people, how we can make it more useful, uh, and how you can participate. And one day, I hope, how I can hand off the editorship of this to someone else, uh, which is the ultimate goal, to have this be a true community newsletter that we're not just sort of sending down from on high, but is uh, being developed mm -hmm. by uh, members throughout the community. So that's my pitch for my session. Uh, the next possible session is virtual conferences. Is anyone willing to facilitate the virtual mm -hmm. conferences session? I'm just wondering who, who, uh, how to say, who suggested it and what is it, what is it about? Is it like the meetups that we talked about or something bigger? Yeah, it, it's <laughs> meetups and something bigger. It's, it's that there seems to be some discussion around it, so I, I, I stuck there and it's a starting idea. So, so Gundalo, does that mean you're the facilitator? Like, who's if there's no one stepping up to be a facilitator, it's not on the list. That's the first rule no facilitator, not on the list. I can probably facilitate that, but um, you know, if, if there's enough interest, then we can have that session. All right, pitch us on it, tell us why it's exciting and why we should vote for it. It's exciting because, <laughs> well, <laughs> because conferences are cool and, uh, uh, you know, in the meantime, we need to, even though we can't meet in person, we should keep things going so that we stay connected. And uh, let's talk about how, what are, what are the, some of the things we can do virtually that can make, make this happen. Excellent. Thank you for the excellent pitch. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, next session, testing. How to test collections and unit tests. Do we have a facilitator for this session? It's an important topic, Is anyone, uh, we, so to be clear, to be a facilitator, uh, yeah. You don't have you to don't know. Actually, you don't well, have. You just have we're to be saying willing. The same thing. Say, yeah, you just have to be willing to say this is a thing that I think is worth talking about. You don't even have to be the expert. You just have to be the one to say, "Hey, can we talk about testing or can we talk about topic X?" I care so. about this, and I'm willing to take notes while other people talk, and maybe we'll come out of it with a plan or or some ideas idea. or problems yeah. or anything some issues to file. Do you care about it? You do not have to be expert at anything. If nobody cares about testing, there's a, there's just, there's tears of sadness everywhere. Do, 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 do. Does anyone care about the topic but not want to facilitate it? Because I could always roll it into the next one, which is the one that I'm probably going to facilitate, which is how do we keep the new collections moving? And I can roll well, in. Because I'm not hearing anyone else, that is about to be what we do, and I'm about to delete this from the separate uh, list of topics. Um, I can facilitate this. 
Wait, okay, so we've got two people stepping up. Who was it? There was Sandra and who? Suggy. Suggy. S-A-G-I. So I didn't, like, both of you spoke at what, do you want to co-lead it? Is there anyone, we just need one. I'll put Seggy for now. Um, so that can be a topic. I can go ahead if she wants, of course. No problem with that. I'll put you both down. All right. But the point is we have potential facilitators, so that'll move on to the voting phase. All right, next, Gundalo, how do we keep the collections, new community collections moving? Tell us about it. Yeah, so there's sort of two rough classes of collections. There's the comparatively small and dedicated, um, crypto, MySQL, oh, sorry, crypto, Cassandra, Grafana, and then there's other things where there are multiple maintainers like networking, so community.network, community.general, community AWS. The larger repos essentially have the same problems that we did in Ansible to Ansible, and that's the huge repository. No one understands or necessarily cares about all the different modules in there. How do we keep those things moving? And then also, is there anything extra we can do for the smaller, more dedicated collections to make them happier? Um, how do we raise the bar of testing so the reviews phrase can be easier or things like that? So this is all the, the process, the technical and non-technical aspects of process and PRs and issues. And I'm gonna steal issue moving and put that in there as well. So you are including moving issues and PRs in this talk? Yeah, I, I think that's I'm fitting there. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh so we know we've got a facilitator there, so that moves on to voting next. All right. Next proposal, getting more eyes on proposals. In general, we should probably have a proposal process that we use to propose changes at a high level. We will end up having an ad hoc process if we don't have a formal process. Is anyone interested in talking about uh, proposals uh, process and getting eyes on them? I'm sure many people are interested in the abstract, maybe. The question is, is anyone interested enough in this to uh, to Facilitate a session to talk about it. I assume this session includes, does the existing proposals process that previously was in Ansible, Ansible that applied to everything now, this just as it applies to the collections universe? Good All question. of the above? Deep, deep thinky questions? Robin, does that mean you're pitching this one or are you just asking someone else to pitch it? All right. I'm just, I don't know who wrote it. I mean, I know Gundalo wrote it down, but I'm not sure where it came from or who proposed that to be proposed by Gundalo. I would facilitate things, but I have to go to corporate meetings here shortly. So it would depend on when it got scheduled, and I will note that Felix was asking, are all of these things happening at the same time? Because he, of course, wants to go to all of them because, you know, he's very excited. Right. Um, so and that is a, that, so that, we, that is a question we should answer for people. Right. We can, so we will, uh, I think it's going to depend on how many get a lot of votes, right? It may be that we don't have that many that get votes and we may do as few as two tracks or even one track. We also have to figure out roughly how much time we want to devote to each of these. It may be that we time box them all to half an hour and they're all in the main track this afternoon. We're not going to know until we've got more proposals. Right. So are, any I, these, are any of these possibly on deck to be moved to unconference? Possibly, depending on their scope or what might get done in them, based on what is. Do you mean hackathon? 
Uh, yes, I mean hackathon. Sorry, I'm Maybe. still waking up. It's now only 7:30, and I'm still, you know, should be in bed. Yes, we could potentially move those to the hackathon as well. That said, we're on getting more eyes on proposals. Does anyone want to potentially facilitate this? Robin, would you want to facilitate it if we can put it later in the schedule? If we can put it a bunch later, yes, or as hackathony things, yes, sure. And if not, I'd volunteer you in my place as tribute. Like All right. Again. Not really. So uh, we'll. That's a that's a maybe. We'll see how many votes it gets, and we'll move on. Plugin development. Who wants to talk about or facilitate plugin development discussion? I think the person initially voted for this has had to drop. All right, I'll give it five seconds. Five, four. Felix says plugins is a very generic term. Do we mean collections development, or do we actually mean, like, plugins to, like, do we narrow that down? So I suspect that this may have been a submission for just general help tips how to develop modules, which some people may need. But if we don't have anyone willing to run that session, then that session can't happen. Well, are there people here who want to learn about that? Because then somebody might actually be like, you know, I would like to listen to that if there was a leader. I think this is a case of there's plenty of people around that we could find poke to do that. But if everybody here is highly skilled, I know I myself am an expert at this, uh, then maybe that would, in, you know, excite someone enough to want to teach people. Me looks in IRC. Okay, I'll, I'll let you get back down to your countdown timer. Three, two. Oh, but Gearly got it back. Maybe he wants to talk. Maybe he wants to lead that session. Wait, what? What? What are you wait whating about? I'm wait whating about. I'm looking at IRC. Oh, Gearling guy. Where Gearling guy just said he just got back, and I said maybe he wants to lead that session. And he said, "Wait, what?" What session are we talking All right. about? All right. To catch people up, we're going through the Etherpad. We're going through unconference topics. We're looking for people who might be willing to facilitate them, so that we can figure out which ones are even possible to have. And once we figure that out, we're then going to go to voting and slotting to figure out how we'll be spending the rest of our time. So where we're at is plugin development. And I guess you were voluntold that maybe you can uh, uh, lead a plugin development session if you so choose. If not, that's fine. You're certainly not obligated. But if we don't have a volunteer here in the next little bit, plugin development is going to fall off the list. He'd rather not. That's fine. It's just because right. you were back. I apologize for throwing you under the bus. I have like been disconnected. That. Great. Been... All right. All right, let's move on. Diversity and inclusion. A. Cozine, tell us about this topic. So we are looking to um, continue recruiting great contributors to the Ansible community. Um, it has come to our attention that, that um, gosh, there are a lot of 
white men and not as many other people. And the world is full of lots of people who have great brains and great skills. And um, we should be recruiting more widely and that this is something that may not happen naturally. Um, or I shouldn't say naturally. This is something that may not happen without attention and effort. Um, but that we can, at Ansible, better reflect the world that we live and work in and make better, uh, expand, expand our community and make better use of the resources that uh, the world is offering to us. So I would like to talk about ways we can do that um, and gather some ideas and talk about how people feel about that too, if, if that's a relevant part of the topic. Um, mostly I'd like to hear from people. That's my pitch. Excellent. Thank you. So that's, if that's an actual pitch, great. <laughs> we have one, let's move on. Uh, documentation in the New World Order. A. Cozine and Sam McCann. Tell us about it. Uh, I guess I'll go again. Um, documentation is changing because of moving to the collections universe. What do people need? Um, what do they want? Uh, how important are certain features of the old documentation in the new world? Which ones can we drop? Uh, what new strategies and tactics should we be adopting for documentation in the new world order? Um, what help do community members need? Uh, what help can they offer? All topics around documentation and especially um, best, best ways to pipeline in new experiences. Um, we're all used to the old way that Ansible has worked for many years and, um, and this is kind of a, a new thing. So looking for both help and feedback and also um, yeah, feedback of things that the community can offer and things the community needs from documentation. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so that puts us at the end of that uh, part of the list. Now we're going to move down to the potential topics. There may be update or uh, overlap between potential topics and topics that are already uh, pitched. So we'll move through this list relatively quickly so that we can get on to the voting. If there is a topic that you uh, you know really want to talk about or make sure is talked about, uh, step up quickly to, to to talk about why it's important. And uh, and when we're done with this part of the list, we'll move on to the voting. Some of the voting has already sort of happened on some of these things, and some of them are already included. <clears throat> so uh, we'll move as quickly as we can here. All right, so line 104, status of Ansible 2.10 and plans for what content is put into Ansible 2.11. Did we already cover that? I kind of feel like we already covered that. Is there anyone who wants to go into more depth on that topic? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Uh, next topic. Uh, plans for Ansible Galaxy, roles versus collections on Galaxy, and its relation to Automation Hub, especially for supported content. Mr. Gearling, I feel like you would be perfect to lead this conversation if you're willing. That, yeah, that's fine with me. Do you want to say anything more about it, or should we just put it on the list? Uh, you can stick it on the list. Basically, um, what what is the future of roles and Galaxy mostly, and how does Galaxy and Automation Hub relate to each other currently All right. and in the future? Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Unit testing of Ansible modules. We've already got that, I believe, covered in uh, the general testing. I think that's already covered. Does anyone disagree or want to do a separate thing? I know Tan already left. 
All right, moving on. Collections, we've already got covered. Moving on for that. Uh, ACD slash Ansible next. I believe we spent a good chunk of the morning covering this. Uh, unless anyone has any objections, I'm going to move on. All right, line 112, AWX and Ansible Tower. Is there anyone who wants to uh, talk about uh, AWX, have an AWX discussion? Moments. Nothing on IRC. All right. Greg, are you yes. moving these topics, the ones that we are keeping, up to the I am moving the ones that we are. I, yes, that, thank you for that. I am seeing order. lots of people typing in their, their pluses, plus yes. names down there, to, which is fine, but we're going to be. So, <laughs> right. We're going to move the potential topics up to the top uh, as they get accepted with, with a facilitator, and then we'll do our best to figure out voting then. We'll move votes up and re-vote and things like that. We'll sort all that out. All right, stats. How do we measure collections from a health perspective? I feel like Greg already gave a, a great talk about that. Do we that want to me. dig into that at all? That was Greg? me. That was me. I think I actually put that line on there in March. Um, but uh, um, I might join some of the other sessions and ask all good pointed questions about how we get data out of some of these pro processes or, or, or tools. Um, but yes, I think all right. as, a, as, a, as a topic, I think we've covered a lot of it. So. All right. Sounds good. Giving back to community. I think that's very broad and I think it will be facilitated by any of the above topics. Does it involve Dessert. pizza? Is there pizza for me and everybody else? No? Not for another several months. All right, documentation, we've got a session on. ServiceNow, does anyone want to talk specifically about uh, work around ServiceNow? Five. I have a quick question. What actually is ServiceNow? <laughs> are you willing? To, are you willing to have a session on what is ServiceNow? <laughs> no thanks. I'm just wondering because I've seen this question before and I have no idea what it is. ServiceNow is uh, to Ansible. It's a service. Uh, it's a it's a SaaS that ticketing system enterprises use it a lot. There's a lot of ServiceNow out there actually. It's um, like a self service portal where you. You know, it, it hooks up all the services that that you're that are available to your company. Uh, whether that's I would like to get a new system through my IT department, all the way through to I need to connect to, you know, through my SSO to Gartner to read some very boring documents about. Uh, you know, it, it sort of handles a single pane of glass inside your company that lets you OAuth outside or other stuff inside. It's like a catalog. It's sort of like a catalog of stuff that you can do. So I'm and not- And that was the ServiceNow presentation. Thank you, Robin, for that session. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Not a pitch, <laughs> No, I'm happy. <laughs> it, you, I, well, I think that was already the session, unless someone, does someone want to facilitate a ServiceNow uh, discussion? Five, four, I requested that you count backwards in different languages each time. No. All right. Uh, next is network automation and orchestration. Is there anyone who wants to have a deeper discussion on that or wants to help have a deep, deeper discussion around that? All right. Moving on, OpenShift management with Kate's modules. I see we got a couple of votes for this. Is there anyone who's willing to uh, facilitate this discussion? This might be one of those things that's also useful for the uh, 
uh, hackathon. We can leave these topics up and revisit them for the hackathon tomorrow and Wednesday is a possibility. I'll leave that to Gundalo. All right, no takers, moving on. Windows automation. Do we want to discuss Windows automation? All right, moving on. Automation on IoT platform. Anyone want to lead a session on IoT? There's a loud wren in my yard who might want to talk about IoT. Anyone else? Internet of trolls in your garden. All right, moving on. Two nine features and labs. Is that, is that a leftover from last time? I don't know. Okay. No, these are some of the suggestions from when people signed up on Eventbrite. It was more right. like a copy and paste. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know any more details in that. All right, fair enough. Moving right. on. AWS and Google Cloud integration, also Oracle modules. We want to have a session on cloud modules, Oracle modules. Sounds like a no. All right. Plugin development. We already voted on or uh, uh, looked for a facilitator on that and did not find one. Issues management and development process. Is this essentially part of uh, the collections discussion, Gundalo, or is this a separate thing? And we have a separate discussion. I, I, see think, this. I think it's the same. I'll, I'll copy it under. Sam, I see that you voted for that. Is that okay to have that in the collections discussion as point of discussion there? Yeah, it sounds good. Okay. Diversity and inclusion we got, getting more eyes on proposals we got. All right, that's the list. Is there anything that is not on either of these lists that people would like to pitch now? Something that you wish we'd have covered more in the morning, something you'd like to drill down on, something completely unrelated. Something that would be fun and is not at all related to Ansible and you want to spend half an hour talking about. A board game, perhaps. How to juggle. Anything at all. Okay, that's it. So that leaves us with uh, eight proposals. Uh, now is the point where we basically go and everyone needs to uh, uh, go vote for a proposal that they would be interested in, all right? So uh, we've got a lot of pluses, we've got a lot of, maybe the best thing to do is just go and put your name next to a topic that you are willing to go to. Uh, let's be clear here. You can vote on multiple topics. You can vote on all the topics if they're all interesting to you. The goal here is to see if there's interest in these things to discuss. And if there are a, if there are a couple that have lots and lots of interest, we'll make sure they're both in the quote unquote main track. Uh, if we end up having four or five with lots of interest and then the rest with not much interest, we may just discard the others. Uh, the goal here is to figure out how much interest we actually have among the people currently here in the sessions that we have. So if you would go ahead and for the next five minutes, look at what we have on the Etherpad and put down your name next to the sessions that you're interested in talking about or hearing about. At the conclusion of this, we'll go through, look at what we have, and we'll organize the next few hours of our day based on that list. So that's it. Uh, 
Carol, maybe you could put up a timer for the next 10 minutes. This can also be a break for people. And when we come back at the end of this 10 minutes, we'll go through uh, what we have. All right, I'll do that. Does that make sense to everybody? People are already going ahead and putting their, their uh, names down next to sessions. So uh, that's fantastic. Is 10 minutes enough? Uh, let's make it 15. Yeah. 